Middlesex Health has a growing transgender medical program that is changing the lives of its patients. Nurse practitioner Katie Tierney is the program medical director and Darianne Dunham is a patient there. Welcome to both of you. It's great to have you. Thank you so much for having us. Darianne, first of all, let's talk about your story. I understand it was a, it was a challenge for you to find a program that fit for, that was a good fit for you. Yeah, it was. I, I started at a different practice and uh, I kind of felt lost where I needed to go. And uh, then I found Middlesex and Katie, and when I got there, it was just a complete weight off my shoulders. Um, I felt comfortable there. When I got there, they just, they took me right in. Now, you were born female. Yes. What made you decide to make this change? Um, I just felt like I finally wanted to be comfortable in my body, and I wasn't for the longest time. And I just got to a point where it's something I needed in my life. It's a change I needed. And Katie, your program, how does that help? people like Darian. So at Middlesex we have a pretty comprehensive program. My, my portion of it um, as a medical provider is to help with hormone therapy because for a lot of people who identify as transgender or, not, or gender non-binary, the hormone piece of it is really, really important. Um, as a health system though, I think it's important that we be able to adequately address the needs of all trans patients. So we've really, as a program director, really strive to make sure that each department and every place that a patient might come in contact with feels comfortable and, and is treated well. What's your unique about your program? I think really it's that our institution has a culture that's very accepting and very forward thinking and so at the end of the day you know adequate medical care and appropriate medical care is obviously very important but also the cultural part of it where you are um, accepting and treat the patient the way that they need to be treated whether it's with preferred name or preferred pronoun um, and addressing their needs as they come in is incredibly important and empowering. Darian how do you feel right now with, with the process? Uh, I'm, I'm so confident with myself now and it just it takes honestly like takes the weight off your shoulders like I said before because you're just kind of weighed down by this like the past and not being able to be yourself and be, being able to be myself and just be out there is an amazing feeling. So. And I understand there's, there are support groups. Yep, absolutely. We have our behavioral health team is very involved. Um, we have a gender discussion group that's specifically for trans identified people that's open to the public and they also include a portion of that for allies and family members and friends to come in as well so that they can learn and also provide support. That is so important, isn't it? Absolutely. I think one of the most important and, and difficult things for trans people is finding other trans people and making sure that they have the support to gain the confidence that they can go out into the world. Have you been able to reach out to these folks? Uh, I haven't specifically, but I know that having another line of support is really, really important in the transition um, because a lot of people don't have the support of family sometimes, so having that next line of support is so important. Darian, thanks so much for thank sharing your story, and Katie, thank you for joining thank us. Thank you so much for having us. For more information about Middlesex Transgender Program, visit www.middlesexhealth.org or call this number 860-358-3460.